Hi, everybody. Ken Phelps here from the Daytona Regional Chamber of Commerce. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our Mission Member Spotlight interview. Our mission members are those business and community leaders who believe strongly in the work of the Daytona Regional Chamber and go over and above in their support of our mission. And it's my pleasure to welcome Nancy and Bill Bradley of Daytona College to learn a little bit about them and their organization. Thank you to the both of you for sharing a few minutes with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, Nancy, let's start with you. Would you tell us a little bit about Daytona College and the kinds of programs you offer, who your clientele is, uh, your role in the community, so to speak? Okay, that's uh, wonderful. Thank you, Ken. Uh, yes, Daytona College is a family founded and operated uh, private career college. As you can see from the introduction, I'm Nancy Bradley and Bill Bradley. Bill's my son. My husband, Roger, and I are the founders and owners, operators of the college. We have uh, been in higher education, training people for occupations, training adults for entry-level careers since, uh, hate to say it, 1989. So we go back quite a while in Central Florida. And now we've concentrated every our efforts over here in Volusia County. We have... Um, this is our 25th year with uh, our school here. Uh, Daytona College was begun as the, the Daytona Institute of Massage. It was located over in Holly Hill in a uh, very small building shared with a jewelry store. And so that's how the school began teaching massage therapists. So when my husband and I uh, came to um, own the school, uh, we knew that we wanted to add some other programs and grow it. And obviously uh, in a very small uh, square footage uh, unit, you can't add too many programs. So we've moved and we have been at this location at 425 South Nova in Ormond Beach since 2007. So over time we've um, added programs, we currently offer cosmetology, barber styling. We're still offering massage, um, aesthetic skin care, nail tech. And then we also have allied health with medical office assisting and a medical billing. We most recently um, began um, an associate of science in registered nursing and also practical nursing. And so we have, um, you know, developed and changed our, our look and our, um, our mission, so to speak, going from simply massage, but then expanding into the health professions with, um, with our other programs. So. You've, cl you've clearly had the, the opportunity and success to expand and offer different things. So, Bill, let me ask you the next question. Why does the Chamber's mission of advocating a strong economic and business environment, which uh, clearly your organization has leveraged to grow and, and succeed, uh, why does that resonate with you to inspire Daytona College's support of our mission member program? Well, I just think... Uh you know, living here in the community, I, I live here with my family. My twins were born in uh, Advent, Daytona Beach location, and um, just wanted to provide a sound economic future for my family. So what best than to contribute locally? Nancy, I, I'll ask you to expand on that as well for, for you. And I know you're involved with Career Source, Flag Revolution, some other organizations. Uh, why is it important for you personally to have that strong environment to do business in? Well, um, you know, from, from a very personal standpoint and the fact that we, this is a, a family business as well as um, our, our office and our, um, you know, our staff, our students, our faculty, we all are, um, you know, we're not a very large school. We have uh, approximately 200 students. And so therefore we're able to know everyone. We know all of our students by name and um, our uh, staff is very close. They've all, really we have a very uh, long-term um, tenure of staff and faculty. Of course, as we've added different programs and subjects and so forth, we've um, increased our, our faculty and, and our staff as well to serve the students. But the fact that 
our students and the employers who hire our students are all primarily uh, in the local community, Volusia County, Flagler County, Seminole. Um, we, you know, we move out a little bit. Uh, we also have some online programs. So we do have a footprint elsewhere in Florida and uh, outside of the state of Florida, but the, the heart of our school, I'll say, and the majority of our student body and employers that we serve are all here in the local area. So being involved in the community, whether it's through Career Source, uh, which is uh, fantastic, that's how I met you, Ken, was at a Career Source event. And um, our Career Source, uh, Flagler Volusia, is extremely involved everywhere. So whether it's training with other higher ed institutions, working with the high schools, working with the tech center, working with the um, community-based organizations, uh, youth, adults, and so forth. So career source is, is everywhere <laughs> uh, in the two counties and of course our region and then you know throughout the state. So there's very, it's a very, um, very important that as a, as a uh, contributor, to the economic in impact and footprint of the area that we are involved um, with, with the local community. I also am, um, am a member of the Volusia County Women's Network, which is a very um, established uh, organization, goes, goes back to the 70s, I believe and is, uh, has always been an advocate for women's issues and women's, um, uh, women's pr promotion of women and uh, their, um, their different interests and so forth in the community. Of course, uh, the COVID virus has uh, impacted that group as well. And like you mentioned earlier, uh, as we were getting ready to come on, we've all become very much uh, Zoom people. And so um, we've been able to carry on in certainly not at the level that we did, but uh, we're hoping to get back and um, get going with some of our programs that we do to, to help women in the community. Well, I'll tell you, it's it's a it's a common trait amongst our mission members uh, that community involvement. So, and you, you're certainly no exception to that rule, uh, uh, fitting right in and and giving in many many ways. Um, the the last question I want to ask of each of you, uh, Bill, I'll let you lead it off, and then we'll uh, let Nancy uh, bring it home. What do you believe is the best aspect of doing business in the Daytona Beach region? The best aspect, uh, just I would say, helping the local community. Um, and I say that because I grew up in Orlando, but I spent most of my summers here, just like many people in the you know, Central Florida region. And after living here after a few years, one thing I noticed is that there's a great sense of pride from the people that, that live here and really that were born and raised here, um, which now I've grown many friends. And it's just being a part of that tradition, I would say, it, it's that's what I enjoy most and, you know, telling people who we are because not even though we've been here uh, for, you know, quite some time now, people still don't know who we are just yet, but it's explaining to new people that we meet and also my friends that this is what, this is who we are and this is what we're able to provide to, to folks and just to, to be a part of the, the local community I find is, is best and I, I enjoy that a great deal. Nancy, your thoughts on what, what in your opinion is the best aspect? Well, Bill did a great job of um, putting all that to words. Um, I agree with what he's saying. We uh, lived for a long time in um, in Orange County, and uh, my I have two other sons, and they grew up uh, in the Orlando area. And now, uh, being over here in Volusia County is it is that there's a very strong sense of community, and just like with the Women's Network. Um, everybody knows everybody, <laughs> and uh, you get that way with career source as well because of all of the different, um, you know, fingers and hands that are in all these other 
uh, types of um, entities and organizations. But I think that is the best part because we are a small organization and a family um, run organization that the area, the Volusia area, the Volusia Flagler, the chamber, there is a great sense of community and supporting each other. I think that's another uh, kind of an offshoot that we tried very hard while we were um, transitioning during, during all of the lockdown time. We were very fortunate that uh, we were able to stay open. We put all of our students online and that was a, a fun thing to do, very, very challenging. But again, everybody just pitched in, students were great and we kept moving. But we made it a point to make sure that we supported the local businesses, um, whether it was buying um, buying a pizza uh, from the shop across the street, or um, you know, making sure that the local florist, whoever that we could su uh, support at the time, we wanted to make sure that we did. And I think that is something that is very much a part of the fabric of of the community. So we're very proud. Uh, to be here. We're very proud of the work that we do and the students that we serve, the jobs uh, that we help fill with our graduates and um, hope to keep, keep on doing it and uh, becoming even more involved with the chamber. Well, we're, we're very grateful for your support of the Daytona Regional Chamber. We're glad to have Daytona College as, as part of that. And I'd like to thank you both for sharing a few minutes with us today to talk a little bit about uh, about Daytona College and, uh, as Bill mentioned, helping spread the word about uh, who you are and what you do in the community. So thanks to you both. Well, thank you, Ken. Yes, thank you very much. And we want to thank you for tuning in to the Mission Member Spotlight. Uh, be sure to check out future editions of the Daytona Regional Chamber eBrief for more Mission Member Spotlights, as well as news and information about your business community. And also take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're here so you get updates on new content. Thanks for watching and so long, everybody. Bye-bye.